What's good, YouTube? Because of Kobe here. So, we're diving into some reactions for you guys tonight. I got a request from Wade to start it out for you guys. This is Master's Apprentices. Think about tomorrow, today. I enjoyed that first one we did by them. It was Because I Love You. That was a great song. So, I'm excited to check out some more from these guys and see what they're all about in their other songs. Way, thank you for your request. If you guys are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all the lyrics, instrumentation, stage performance i like going the whole nine yards on busting lyrics down for you guys and talking about everything inside of them we can apply a lot of it to our own lives and to the situations we go through in our life and have beneficial conversations about those things and provide some positive insight and inspiration for each other and i really love that about being able to get on here and do that with you guys if you're struggling with mental health or addiction, I say this in every video, please go get professional help. Work through those issues with yourself. Pull yourself out of them. You can live a much better life for yourself. I had a very bad problem with alcoholism and drug addiction for my whole life that I pulled myself out of in the last like four years or so. It was four years for hard drugs and it's been 18 months today for alcohol. So it's been a hell of a journey and a lot of growth and a lot of learning and settling in to new ways of living and new things to do and everything like that. My favorite thing to do is to obviously get on here with you guys and talk about all of these things and try to provide some inspiration for people who might be struggling the same way that I was whenever I was stuck inside of those situations in my life. And that's what it's all about on here is just providing that for you guys and sharing a little bit of my story and hoping that it can inspire you to also Go make a better life for your own self inside of the things that you're going through. So we're going to get into some music for you guys. Way, thank you again for your request. I'm Vakasa Kavi. A reaction video today keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. We got the Masters Apprentices with Think About Tomorrow Today. Mmm. Bluesy. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. This is epic right here. I love stuff like this. This is classic. Very bluesy style of guitar here. Very rock and roll style vocals going on. We got a nice bass line. Drums are heavy. The drums from the like 60s and 70s this era are insane. Some amazing drums inside of the songs from that era. They had a lot of awesome technique and everything going into their drum playing. Added a lot of feeling into the backbeat of the song with like little ghost notes and like rolling their sticks along the snare drum and stuff like that that adds a lot of little accents that you don't even necessarily fully hear all the time, but you like feel them inside of the mix. It's a really awesome technique from specifically that was used heavily back in these times of music. These lyrics are awesome. Very simple, short and sweet, and very meaningful. And I love songs like this. You guys know that he said, come with us, we're going to take you away. Make up your mind, you know we're leaving to stay. We'll take you to a brave new world tomorrow. Mm. <sighs> Make up your mind, you know we're leaving to stay. It's saying if you want to step into this new world tomorrow with us, you need to make up your mind because we're not fucking coming back once we go. 
and it's, a, it's obviously talking about revolution kind of talk, a new world, a better world, stepping into a more positive light inside of life and everything. It could represent political revolution from the time period it was written in as well, because that was a heavily, heavily politically charged period of music for the whole world back in the 60s and 70s specifically very very politically charged climate with everything that was going on in the world so it probably ties into that as well but it's also about stepping into a new life and not being afraid to leave the things behind that you have to because you know that you're going there to stay if you actually decide to go through with it he says, we realize a revolution is here. Do you realize it's the end of our fears? We're going to a brave new world tomorrow, saying we're going to build this into something better, right? It's that, it's a song of unity, a song of togetherness, wanting to bring everyone together and realize that we can make a better world with each other and that we can say that we are not okay with the things that are being shoved down our throats on a societal and political level, the status quo and everything like that. He's saying we're going to build our own world and we're going to do it together. It's very beautiful right there. I like that. Very short and sweet, like I said, and beautifully written. The vibe of the song is amazing. Yeah. Mm. You don't have to say a lot to say a lot. The title of the song really is a message in itself. But when you tie it into what's being talked about in the verse, the, t the first two sections of the verse, he says, what we're trying to say is think about tomorrow, today. He's saying that we need to think about how our, uh, I've had this talk with you guys before on here, we need to think about how what we do as a society today impacts the future generations of the world. That's what he's talking about. It's, it's a very vague statement, like, unless you really dig into it right? Because it, you could just take it at face value as a face value statement saying that everything happens for a reason and that whatever happens today will also impact the outcome of tomorrow. But he's looking at it from a much grander scale than tomorrow. Obviously, it's just a face value quote that fits nicely in a lyrical sense. He has a much bolder message of wanting to make the world a better place for future generations, and I appreciate the hell out of that. I love when we get songs that mention that, because you guys know that that's something that's really important to me and that we've talked about multiple times on the channel. It, I've My direct quote for it every time with you guys, some of you might be able to say it with me right now, is how would you feel if you knew that the people before you left you a piece of shit? <laughs> and that's my quote on that one. I've said it on here multiple times in multiple songs, and I'm sure that some of you were able to say that with me that have been watching the channel for a little minute now. Yeah, I really appreciate songs that just have this message in them, consideration for the future and where we're going, and knowing that if we choose to go outside of what we're always told to do in life and stuff like that, that we're not going to be able to turn back from it, because the, the classic phrase that anyone will tell you is that once you wake up to things and once you allow yourself to really wake up to how they are inside of the world and you bust out of the status quo, you don't get to go back. You can't because you're not able to you're not able to act like you're OK with it anymore. You see what I'm saying? You can you can try to put on 
the fake face of a regular person who isn't thinking about those kinds of things and isn't pondering inside of those kinds of things everybody gonna figure it out eventually they're gonna be like that person's fucking different that person's a thinker you can see it in their fucking essence you can't hide it like once you break out it's just is something that shines on you and everyone will notice you can't hide that because it's just like i said it's something that shines on you whenever you bust it out of the status quo and you're doing something outside of that with yourself in your life it's not something that can be hidden energetically because people are going to recognize that you ain't just regular and that you're really not okay with the current situation. If you're applying yourself in a status quo kind of situation, people are going to be able to tell that you're a little bit like off put with it. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind. Once you dig into those things and you bust yourself out of the bitch, you ain't going back. That's what the song's about, really. It's about coming together inside of unity and making a better world through it. And I love that message. Beautiful song right here. Thank you, Way. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Erratic. I like that. Nice bass slide. <laughs> that was a lyric for all of our people that are obsessed with TikTok nowadays. <laughs> I like that. You guys will get what I'm saying in a minute. The ending of this chorus was, he said, so what we're trying to say, think about tomorrow, today, what we're trying to get through. We can all be cool. It's a brave new world with you. Damn. Wow. We can all be cool. It's a brave new world with you. Wow. You meaning anybody. You just being a unifying term of speech. Right? He's using it as a term of endearment for his fellow humans, for the rest of humanity. I like that. This is very nicely written. So simple and so meaningful. But this right here, if we unite, we can all live in peace, right? Today we ate, you know tomorrow will feast. That's the, that's the one that I said shout out to all our TikTok people because one of the most popular comments on TikTok whenever somebody is doing something very well is they'll be like, that person just ate. And that's like a slang that's specific to TikTok. It gets said on TikTok a lot. I don't spend time on TikTok. I rarely get on TikTok and watch anything on there ever. It's not even on my phone or anything. <laughs> so I don't really use TikTok. But that is slang that is used on there. And to spin, see, it shows that the classic slang is actually similar to what we have today and a lot of the time we just don't know that they talked like that also right because that's like a big thing that's like a, a phrase that a lot of people use to compliment somebody nowadays but he won up to the ante on it with the bar he says today we ate you know tomorrow we'll feast <laughs> he says if you think what we're doing today is fucking appeasing right to the appetite tomorrow we gonna be well fucking off right the whole table is set there is a feast prepared and there's gonna be more than just one of us eating that's what he's saying we're all gonna be eating together let's go to our brave new world tomorrow that is beautiful this is a beautiful song. I love the unity in it, and I love that we have that little piece of slang in there that fucking applies to today's internet comments. It's kind of funny that we do still have that slang. It's it's funny because a lot of people, like, another another big one that people use nowadays that's been, like, being used a lot in maybe the last 10 to 15 years, I would say, is the word clout, which is obviously 
originated from baseball, right? The king of clout. You guys know. I'm sure you guys know. <laughs> so it's like, it all applies to today, the classic slang and everything. And I think that a lot of us don't, just don't really realize that we have made popular terms from back then our own terms now because it's just not something that you necessarily research a lot. I notice little shit like that when it comes to these lyric sheets that are older. I just thought I would throw that out there because I thought it was cool that the language was kind of similar when it came to like the slang and the way it was used in an endearing way, right? He's saying you think eating is good. Wait until you see a feast. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. Ooh, groovy. I love it. <laughs> nice stick tricks. I love it. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> that was beautiful. That's a nice song right there. Elevator Driver. That's an interesting title for a song right there. We might have to check that one out. Elevator Driver, it's called. I like it. I like this song a lot. Way, thank you for this request. We're definitely going to get into more of them as well. There's so much to check out. Like I tell you guys all the time, we have so much to check out on here. We could be here forever. <laughs> But that's a good thing. That gives us plenty to talk about, gives us plenty of content that I can put out for you guys. And I'm sorry that we haven't been doing as many reactions. I've been working on a lot of stuff inside of life, personal life and everything like that. Just spending a lot of time also thinking and reflecting on what I want to write about in my own songs and stuff like that. And putting out my own songs. So there's just a lot of shit that I'm working on right now. But I am never going to stop doing reactions for you guys because I love reacting to music and I like breaking it down. I think it's a very unifying experience to share our opinions on music together and get to know each other better and break down the lyrics and talk about the world through these songs and it's very educational. We learn a lot on the channel and I think we have a lot of great talks that can inspire people to do better in life and inspire people to be more open-minded and less judgmental and stuff like that inside of life. I think that's what it's all about. Really, that's what I try to do on here is just preach unity and preach love and positivity and recovery and good mental health to you guys. That's the whole goal on here. So I love you guys a lot. Way, thank you for your request, my friend. The original video in the description, as always, support all the artists we have on the channel. So we do this for, get the music out into the world, provide some inspiration, and spread some love with each other. I love you guys. We're going to get out of here. I'm Vakasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.